Welcome to the Pioneer Service Centre. My name is Paul and I'll be taking you through today how to update the AVHP 8450BT with the latest Bluetooth and iPhone 5 firmware. There are a few steps involved in performing this firmware update, so we're going to take you through them step by step. There are two main tools you need for this. Uh, one of them is a USB key. We actually recommend you use three separate USB keys, however you can use one if you would like. The second tool is a laptop with integrated Bluetooth. So let's get started. So the first step is to download the Blue Solil software. There will be a link on our web page to this actual software for you to download. Step one for the device, after you've turned the power on, is to go into system, press the down arrow until you see Bluetooth memory clear, and then press the clear button and then OK. The next step is to press the home button on the front of the device and select Bluetooth audio. At this stage, you need to wait until the front panel uh, displays no service, which it is now. Now open up the Blue Salil software that you downloaded previously, and the device should come up automatically. If it is not recognized automatically, you can right-click the orange ball and select Search Devices. Once the product appears, you can right-click and select Pair. After the device is paired, Right-click and select Properties. Select the Authorization tab and make sure there's a checkbox next to Bluetooth File Transfer. A pop-up screen should come up and ask for authorization. Mark the box Always Allow and click Yes. Select the Home key on the unit. Select System. Go down to BT Software Update and press Start. Double click on the ABHP 8450 device in Blue Solil and you can select the Bluetooth file transfer icon at the top. Double click this. Two folders will appear, one labelled recorder, one labelled update. At this point, drag and drop the file that you've downloaded previously into the update folder. A dialog box will appear showing the transfer rate of the firmware update. At this point, the device will still say updating. Once it is completed, the device will actually show completed on the screen. So now we've completed step one. Now let's see if the firmware version has actually updated. Turn off the ignition, press the home key, press the system icon, press the down arrow, and then select Bluetooth version info. And please confirm that the Bluetooth version has been updated. So that's step one completed. Step two, we will prepare the USB keys for the next part of the firmware upgrade procedure. Connect a blank formatted USB storage device to your computer and locate the file we're going to use for the first USB stick. The file name is CWW6775 underscore VER9801.yuk and we copy this to our first USB stick. Insert the second USB stick and make sure it is formatted also. Locate the file CWW6778 underscore V825.hat and copy this to USB number 2. Insert the third USB key and make sure it is also formatted. Locate the file CWW6775 underscore VER824 dot yuk and copy this to USB number 3. So let's start with the firmware upgrade procedure. Turn the ignition on and make sure that the source is off. Connect USB key number 1 to the USB port of the device. Press the track forward key to continue. The updating will start. At this point do not remove the USB key and do not turn the power off the device. Once the firmware update is complete the following screen will be displayed. And notice that the button illumination is triggered. Remove the USB storage device from the unit and press the reset button with a pen tip or other pointed instrument. Please note, even though the message displayed on the screen instructs you to turn the ignition off, please press the reset button instead. So now let's move on to the second USB key. Press the track forward key when the following screen appears. 
and the updating process will begin. Again, the firmware updating process can take up to five minutes, so please do not remove the USB storage device or turn off the ignition during this time. When the following screen appears, remove the USB key and press the reset button on the device. And now let's move on to the USB number three. Once the following screen appears, press the track forward button. After the following screen appears, remove the USB key number three and press the reset key for the final time. So now that we've finished the firmware upgrading procedure, let's take a look at what cables we'll need to connect the iPhone 5 to this unit. The first cable you'll need is from Pioneer and it is the CDIV202AV. You will also need a lightning to USB cable and a lightning to VGA adapter from Apple. Connect the RGB cable or the yellow cable to the connector on the back of the unit. Then connect the male USB to the USB slot in the back. With all the cables connected, we now need to change settings in the unit. Press the Home button, press System, and change the RGB input to VGA adapter. So now we need to pair the, the iPhone 5 to the unit via Bluetooth. Select the 8450BT. So the last step is to connect the phone and then press mode on the unit. At this stage you need to allow App Radio mode to run. And you now have App Radio mode on the iPhone 5. To play music, make sure you've downloaded on your phone the Car Media Player app. Now that concludes the firmware upgrade procedure. If you are still unsure after watching this instructional video and performing the procedure yourself, please contact Pioneer Customer Service.